Hey everybody, before we get started, I just wanted to let you know that I added even more saddle pad colors to my saddle pad shop. There's so many colors available on jump or dressage pad. I would love for you to check them out. They're competitively priced and really high quality. I love them. And I've also added some new designs to my merch store. This is one of them. It's available in a lot of apparel options along with a fanny pack that you can put treats in. You can check them out at the link down below in my description. So this is a video I've been meaning to do for a while because I wanted to compare Milo at two years old when he was first rescued by the BCSPCA and when I subsequently adopted him to my colt Banksy who is turning two this year in May on May 28th. So as a rescue, Milo was obviously at an extreme disadvantage as a youngster. He spent two years of his life essentially not being fed or properly nutritioned, and his dam, while she was pregnant with him, also wasn't properly fed. As a result, he was emaciated when the SPCA first rescued him, meaning he had no fat coverage and had to grow a long starvation coat to stay warm. Prior to offering him for adoption, the SPCA got him up to a better weight, and while he was still a bit skinny, he was much healthier. He had his growth majorly stunted because of the lack of nutrition in utero as well as as a baby growing up and he was only 14 two hands as a two-year-old and was so underdeveloped muscularly that the SBCA had initially thought that he was only a yearling. When we had his teeth checked we found out that this was not true and he was actually two. Because of not being fed, he never got to develop the amount of muscle that a horse his age should have naturally out in a field, and he was extremely underdeveloped because of this, and he lacked a ton of muscle that took a long time to get back on him because of how many years he missed out on being healthy. When I first got him, he was only just halter broke and was difficult to handle because he was so inexperienced with things such as trailering, wearing fly spay, or being hosed off with the hose. Inksy, on the other hand, was a planned foal by a responsible person such as myself, meaning his dam got everything she needed from the point of conception to his birth, so he was born very healthy and happy and as a result developed much better from the very start. Also got exposed to things like fly masks, halter training, and horse trailers from a young age in a low stress manner, meaning that there was no playing catch up to introduce these things to him when he was older. Milo unfortunately got a lot thrown at him in his two-year-old year because he needed to be halter broke, he needed to be thrown in a trailer in order to be rescued, and he had to be extensively handled by people when he hadn't before. So this means that it was a lot more stressful for him to learn these things, and I also wasn't as good at providing a low-stress training method for him at this point. What are you doing? It's cold. <laughs> Milo also went through a lot of awkward periods of growth because he was growing very quickly to try to play catch up for all the time he lost in growth from being too starved to actually use that energy towards building more muscle and growing taller. I really don't think photos do him justice for showing how small he was. Here he is in a size 50 blanket, which is a bit small, but still tiny for a two and a half year old to be wearing. In contrast, here is Banksy at around 7 months in a size 60 blanket, and then again at around 18 months in a size 72, and then most recently as he nears his 2 year old birthday, he is in a 74 at around 20 months. Milo's two-year-old year, I did things like teaching him tricks such as smile, as well as taking him on trail walks where I would walk him to nearby parks and just go take him for walks through the trails in hand and expose him to new things. This I really like that I did because he got to check out trails in a less stressful way in hand by following me and he also got to graze and do rewarding things such as that. So I do think that part of me handling him was a good part and I also did lots of free lunging rather than putting him on a circle to lunge but at this this point I also did teach him how to lunge, however I did so lightly because my vet recommended against lunging excessively. Mm -hmm. 
In contrast to two-year-old Milo, Banksy's early handling gave him much more confidence and bravery, meaning that I was able to work on him with things such as this bridge here from a young age where he was about only eight months here, and he was very willing to try things. I also used more positive reinforcement and my timing was far better with this than it was with Milo, meaning I didn't run into the same problems of having pushy, nippy behavior because of feeding treats. And also because of Banksy being so well adjusted, I was able to start trailer training using positive reinforcement from a young age and he got so good at it that when the trailer doors open he actually pulls people in now because he's too eager to get in since he knows it's rewarding Milo, on the other hand, although he was outgoing and playful, was very cautious and not super willing to try new things, particularly trailering, and he had lots of problems with trailering where he would rear up loading in the trailer or come flying out once he was loaded. So most of the places I took him to were in walking distance of my farm, and unfortunately, I don't have any videos of him being bad with the trailer. Other difficulty was that I didn't have my own trailer at this point, which meant that I was always in a rush when I was trailer loading him, and this was reflected in how I handled him. So it made teaching him how to trailer well in the future harder because I made it so stressful for him from the beginning. Since Banksy never had to work through a negative association with the trailer, he was very easy to teach the trailer and super willing, which meant that I was able to take him on lots of fun outings as soon as he was a yearling, and he got to get ponied on trail rides, which was also nice. This was something I couldn't have done with Milo, even if I'd wanted to, because I didn't have a horse who was safe to pony off of, and he also would have honestly been terrible. He would have for sure been too hard to handle to take on trails at the age that he was. So I'm really fortunate that I have Milo to pony off of, as well as a couple of other other horses because it's allowed for Banksy to get so many more experiences from a young age that will make showing easier as an adult. My opinion, Milo's immaturity wasn't just physical, it was also mental because he missed so many young years where he would be playing and lively, but he was too sick to do any of that. But anyways, developmentally, I wanted to show the difference between him and Banksy because he's two and three years old in these photos and he looks more immature than Banksy does as a less than two year old. As you can see, Banksy's muscling is far better from a young age just because he is appropriately fed and able to build muscle accordingly because of that. He's 15'1 now, which is almost an entire hand bigger than Milo was at two and a half. Since he was always fed too, Banksy never had to develop resource guarding as a survival tactic in the same way Milo did when he was guarding food, so we never had to work through food aggression or those problems that arose with Milo in the beginning. These next few comparisons will be really telling of the developmental difference between the two of them. Milo had some problems due to his lack of nutrition from a young age that included incredibly thin hoof soles. His soles were only seven millimeters thick, and this led to a lot of years of hoof problems. Banksy does not have these problems. He's doing very well barefoot and is quite happy. Milo also had a locking stifle issue due to the lack of muscle to support his stifle at the age of two and a half to three, where when we had the most problems with it, building up the muscle fixed that problem, but it's still something to consider from him. And the vet at the time thought that it was largely related to his lack of development and lack of muscle at that age. On the other hand, Banksy has not had any of the problems anywhere similar to a locking stifle or any lameness issues for that matter. With that said, I would say he is significantly more accident prone than Milo is because Milo is so naturally cautious and Milo very much has the survivor type mentality, meaning he lives in a way that would keep him safe in the wild, whereas Banksy is trusting of everyone and very curious, so he goes and checks out more things, which results in more cuts and abrasions such as kneading his lips stitched and pulling out his own tooth at a very young age. It honestly took Milo until he was about five before he stopped looking immature, and I really don't think that Banksy will have that problem. He has put on a ton of muscle, and this is also because he is still intact and still a colt, so he has more testosterone to help him build muscle. Milo did stay intact until he was about two when the SPCA seized him and then subsequently gelded him, but it didn't really help him out much because he couldn't develop any muscle since he was so emaciated. 
Because Banksy has never known any bad from people, I will say that he's way more adaptable and easy to handle and super cuddly and just genuinely super trusting of people, which makes it easier to do just about anything with him. He adores people and he only expects kindness and fluffy butterflies and rainbows from people, so he doesn't have any real caution or fear of humans, which means that he's always ready to work and he's always willing to be with people. People, always wants to be caught and is just all in all super happy to be around. Generally speaking, he's an angel baby with really good manners and he has been so easy to teach things to, such as target training. He picks things up in a matter of a few attempts and learns really fast, so he's very clever and smart, but his bravery sometimes gets the best of him out in the field and he gets injuries, like I mentioned before, such as cuts and bruises. Because of Milo's natural caution, he cannot handle pressure in the same way other horses might tolerate, and if he gets fed too much pressure, he responds with aggression. So he really changed the way that I train horses and taught me a lot, and earning his trust has been one of the biggest challenges of my lifetime, so it means a lot more to have him trust me than it might with another horse. And while he trusts me, he is still a cautious horse who is a survivor, so there's certain things that will never come to him easily, and he's always always on the lookout for danger and as a result this means that it's a little bit harder to introduce him to new things because he's just a naturally more cautious horse and honestly who can blame him? Inksy on the other hand is so naturally curious that he's always checking things out and doing things like this where I reinforce the bridge in like one or two sessions with him and he loves going on this bridge all the time of his own accord now. As Milo is unlikely to go on a bridge of his own accord. If I asked him nicely, he would do it for me even if he didn't want to, but he's not gonna do it on his own because he likes to play it safe. He's willing to do a lot of things that he'd rather not do if I ask him, which is something I really appreciate and respect from him because I know that he's a more nervous horse, but he trusts me through some pretty scary things to him at least, and that's what's so special about him and his temperament. Milo is a funny horse because you either work with him or against him and starting out with our relationship together I was largely working against him whereas Banksy is pretty much always willing to work with you even when he's nervous and that's one of the biggest differences between them. Milo is more cat-like in personality and Banksy's more like a golden retriever and he kind of really likes getting cuddled and brushed and scratched whereas Milo only likes getting scratched in his favorite spots and if you mess up he will let you know and he's very particular about how he wants people riding and caring for him and likes having a certain schedule and there's just certain things that he refuses to like even when I introduce them again and again in a positive manner over the course of years such as narrow doorways that he's just not willing to let happen. Milo as a two and three year old was extremely difficult and this might have been because of my lack of experience in handling such a sensitive horse that didn't respond well to pressure, but he did things like this. During this photo shoot, he saw another horse off in the distance and decided he was done with the photo shoot and was leaving. And this is very much a good description of his personality, even though he's not usually as loud as this anymore, but if he no longer wants to do something, he will tell you, and he doesn't really care whether or not he leaves with or without you. And this is why it's so important to work with him rather than against him, because if you try to push him to do something he doesn't want to do, he will fight back twice as hard as you ask him to do something. He's not the type of horse that can be bullied or told what to do, he's very much his own person, per se, and he's mischievous and playful, and this results in him doing silly things, especially in highly stimulated environments where he just decides that he wants to do what he wants to do. Banksy is a bit like Milo in that he loves to rear up for play and this is largely just when he's turned out with other horses because he is a very good boy and unlike young Milo he was better at staying in his lane and coping through spookiness without having big reactions but he loves to rear and play especially with Milo and that's one of his similar traits to Milo I guess. Banksy has been a pretty adaptable young guy and I've been really impressed with how he handles new things such as going on the trails and being ponied by my other horses along with being trailered to new places to his summer field and so on and so forth. 
but with that said he does sometimes do bad things generally speaking his play behaviors are just with other horses when he's turned out with them and that's really great and he really likes to rear in the pasture which is totally fine by me because that's how young male horses tend to play because they mimic fighting behaviors but with that said he did do something very bad actually quite recently and this is definitely the worst thing he's ever done because i can count on one hand the number of bad things that he has done so this is him as a 20 month old deciding to be a tool because of the other horses running alongside the paddock fence in the arena and he decided it was playtime with percy who's one of his favorite play partners but that is so not okay to do during work so yeah that's the worst thing he's ever done but it's a far cry from how milo was as a youngster so i'm still pretty impressed with him especially since he still is intact and this was his first time ponying since the summertime so it is a bit of an adjustment but as i said he's a pretty adaptable guy and you can kind of pull him out of the pasture without issues whereas milo was not like that he would run off if he pulled him out of the pasture after weeks off anyways they're both very intelligent playful guys who are so similar in some ways but so incredibly different in others and it does make me wonder what milo would be like if he'd had a better start to life but i also don't blame him for his caution with that said i trust milo a lot more with things like hanging out with my nephew because he's much more gentle banksy's still a bit babyish and he wouldn't have an off button for touching a baby so i don't let him interact with my nephew at all but they're very similar in a lot of ways personality wise and they really like playing together and it's been really cool watching their relationship with each other develop because Milo is kind of particular with which horses he gets really close to as friends and he's definitely allowed Banksy in his little group and it's really cute. Overall, they're both my horses of a lifetime and I really enjoy working with both of them. A lot of Milo's strengths are in areas where Banksy is less experienced and therefore weaker, and a lot of Banksy's strengths are areas where I don't think Milo is likely to change fully because of his natural caution due to his previous history of trauma, and rightfully so. So it's been really nice to raise a horse from the start so that they don't have any bad experiences from a young age, and it's been really nice to be able to raise a rescue horse and develop a trusting relationship with a horse like Milo, even though they're less likely to trust people and a little bit more picky about who they let in to their inner circle. I love both of these guys and I really liked comparing them and I'm excited to see how Banksy develops. I'm sure that he's going to be a little bit more yes. straightforward and easy Says to get going under saddle and whatnot eventually than Milo was, just because of his history of being handled since a young age. Yeah. 